What's up you guys? It's me if you don't know me. I am back with the video. It's a month of October so I've been seeing a lot of amazing makeup on YouTube, on Pinterest. I'm gonna be trying a filter I've been seeing everywhere. It's, it's the old age thing and I'm gonna be trying it on half of my face to give you guys a little bit of a now. Honestly, I was trying to go for that old age makeup look but now half of my face just looks like it's burnt off so it has turned into a burned face makeup look or freddy from that movie so first thing i want you to do is just disregard those brown lines that you see on my face it is not necessary anymore here i am applying vaseline onto my eyebrows and on my hairline just to prevent the latex from getting onto it if it does get onto it, it's a pain in the butt to remove and sometimes you might even rip off your hair. Latex does get messy so make sure you're wearing something that you don't mind getting rid of and have your hair away from your face. An accident actually happened when I was filming. I got this stuff all over my clothes so unfortunately had to get rid of everything I was wearing that day. So once I got my face prepared for that, I went in with the latex and used a sponge to apply it on in a small area. To get my skin a little more thick and leathery just like a burn, you want to have a few layers of the liquid latex and I applied the latex on while I was stretching out my skin or even squishing it together while it was drying up. To speed up the drying process, I went in with a blow dryer. Afterwards, I brushed on some setting powder in between just to ensure that the latex doesn't move around once I apply another layer on. I think this was about three or four layers of latex on my skin. So the latex was kind of looking pale, so I'm now applying on some foundation. And then I just peeled the edge of the skin in the middle of my face. Just so I look like I have some skin irritation or some dry patches of blood on my face, I'm going in there with some red eyeshadow to start it off. And now I am making some cuts in my face. To make my cuts a little more realistic, I use some red and black face paint. For more discoloration and to make myself look like I was severely burned, I went in there with some brown and black eyeshadow. I used scar wax just to beat up my eyebrows and then I just removed my lipstick. Last but not least, to make the burn a little more shiny and wet, I added on some fake blood. 